doing a sit down video up here up here up east coast baby well i'm not an east coast baby anymore i am um a probably south african baby this is what it, what this video is about today <laughs> it's a life update guys i decided to do a life a life update i don't know why i sound like that i decided to do a life update do i look okay miami beach florida but you know representing the states i've been to I'm not doing that okay all right guys so <clears throat> it's a love update yes the babe is back in Saudi because it seems like people still don't understand that I'm back in Saudi and I've been back for like a year and three months now yeah if I'm correct it's been a year and three months and I still get questions like oh when are you going back to the US oh you're back how? Why did you come back? Oh, guys, can I enjoy some of that? Okay, that life back there, I'm too broke for it. <laughs> and I like eating, traveling, and spending money. And not that South Africa is better, but honestly, I'd rather be poor here than be poor over there. So, welcome back to Litabo, where you at? And today we are at we are at where are we at we are in my room in Sada that i've been in for the past year so yeah i'm so used to saying welcome to the table tries things <laughs> but welcome to the table where we at as you can see the channel name has changed it's not just the table it's the table where you at because i'm trying to make travel content i'm gonna be traveling south africa and i'm putting that into the universe i want to explore saudi uh, i want to make travel content and show people how beautiful our country is because honestly when i was in in america when i was in america i was defending this country to the core i was like to the core man like to the like people don't see us they don't see us but yeah like i'm america made me a patriot is it the word patriot a patriot i know how you say it but basically like somebody who believes in their country and i believe in south africa and I know the dollar was very nice guys the dollar was good to me but <sighs> so basically I came back home November 2021 I was supposed to come back in December yeah I came back a month early um, because I worked out a deal with my host family um, and if you guys want to hear about my au pair adventure please let me know down in the comment section because I don't want to because there's so much au pair content on the internet and like people have been DMing me asking me to help them go to America and like how and like guide them to mm, oh like basically how people have been asking me the DMs how they can become au pairs as well and I I tell them but sometimes I feel like girl are you sure like some people like when i tell them i'm just like girl don't do that <laughs> like for the reasons that you want to go don't do that because my plan for going to the u.s um uh it was basically a, a matter of i've been in school since grade one to metric after metric i went to college and my college ooh, look at the college <laughs> i went to university but it's a college it's a private institute i went to a private institute and I was supposed to be in that private institute for four years and then I was supposed to be there just for three years and then the three years and four years became five years so it was just a lot going on and I was just like I don't want to do I don't want to work in the field that I studied anymore so I was just like I just need to finish this degree so I finished my degree in 2019 well I actually technically finished in 2018 I say I finished in 2018 but those bitches <laughs> At that institute no actually let me not blame those i blame the lecture that lecture in failure seats but it was also my fault but still like how can i fail your module twice and the only time i pass it is when somebody else is sitting the papers i'm not crazy guys but anyway that's a story for another day um yeah so i finished uh university in 2019 and i was like okay i was supposed to come to america i was i was planning 
like after graduating graduating in 2018 i was supposed to graduate in 2019 so i was supposed to finish school in 2018 i don't know if i'm making sense I was supposed to finish school in 2018 and graduate in 2019 and my plan was to go to america in 2019 but instead <laughs> i ended up having to repeat a module in second semester in 2019 and then ended up going to america march 2020 <laughs> when the global pandemic hit so basically i was an, an au pair during the global pandemic so my experience in america is not like the people before me and the people after me because i see people enjoying america again and i'm just like bitch why why was i punished with that cold vv but it's fine like guys if you want the story of my experience as an old page wrinkle vv please let me know down in the comment section but anyway so yeah so the life update i lived in america for a year and eight months um and in that time uh i arrived in new york obviously i went to training school before uh, i went to training school i think we were the last people to ever have an old page training school i arrived at training school um I lived in New Jersey, we Hawken, baby. I lived in New Hawken for like five months. And I was like, nah, I can't live with these people. <laughs> I was like, no. I was like, I'm choosing myself. And bear in mind, I'm not somebody who complains, guys. Like, I will suffer through everything. And I even told them, like, I was like, oh, let's try again. And then after I agreed, I was like, no, you need to stand up for yourself, girl. Speak out for yourself. I was like, no, sorry, I can't. Um, and then I left that family. I moved to New York, New Rochelle. Westchester area loved it there I lived in a Jewish community lived with a Jewish family guys I have stories about those families anyway <laughs> the first family in the yeah and then I lived in New Rochelle from like I think July until the end of February 2021 um, but I left my Jewish family around I think in December and then I moved with a black family still in New Rochelle um, so that's my third family by the way and then my second year was starting on the first of march and then first of march i moved uh with my last host family which was my fourth family and i lived in i went back to jersey <laughs> but this time i was in cresco new jersey which was like what 30 30 20 minutes from new york um new york city not new york state new york city oh and like when i lived in new jersey in hawking i was like five minutes ten minutes but it's fine guys, it was really beautiful in New York and I just, I couldn't stand the family. Um, <laughs> it's really bad. Um, yeah, so my last nine months in the US, I spent it in Crisco, New Jersey. I lived with a Scottish family, finally. So basically, for me to enjoy my OP year, I had to live with people that weren't Americans. And I don't know what that says about me. Maybe that's why I'm just like, mm, by America. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I stayed with that family and I started traveling. Um, so the, initially, this channel was supposed to be like my video diary. Um, I was going to record every moment, every adventure in the US. But guys, like I said, I lived with full family. So things were not always good and happy and sunshine and roses. I had a life only on the weekend. So I was fortunate enough like unlike most au pairs um i never worked weekends like i never worked weekends like that was i negotiated the thing so i also like also another thing if you want me to make a video about things that i feel like au pairs should ask for or like or ask host families before they move in with them i'll make that video like what you should ask your host family before you move in with them i'll do a video about that because like also i don't want to just do all pair content because i want to show the beauty of south africa i also want to travel other places or other places in the world um so this is going to be like a travel channel and the reason why i decided to make a life update is because i was strongly considering going back into that au pair world um in europe um because one of my friends nashifa she just came back though um was au pairing in europe and i was just like let me but like in europe i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't have been making as much money as i did when i was in the u.s because in the u.s i got paid weekly and in europe you get paid once a month and it's actually less 
so i wasn't sure about that like it didn't sit right with me that amount when i converted it to rent not that converting the dollars that i got every week to rent helped me when i got that side because wow life in america is expensive guys and the reason why i'm giving also this life update is so that i can refer people to this video every time they ask me why did you come back to south africa guys it's expensive that side like my plan was to take a gap year it was a, to take a gap year and i wanted to travel i wanted to save i wanted to experience and i was only making 200 dollars it looked it looked like a lot when i converted it to rent and then the reality of that life that side hit me it hit me five months later because obviously it was COVID when I first got this. So I was making extra actually. I was making more money um, than the normal au pair. So I had money saved up. But when I finally started spending that money, it was not enough um, for me to save. Send back home and save and also spend it here and save and also travel. No, it was all a dream. This is 18 Rand and this is one dollar. It's 18 Rand guys. It doesn't even buy a loaf of bread in america this one dollar this is 18 rand this is 18 rand it cannot even buy a loaf of bread in america it cannot buy a loaf of bread so you can imagine what i went through like things that i don't miss about america i'll do a video i think a part two of things that i miss but right now i'm just gonna tell you that i'm back in saudi i'm happy to be home it's been hard um 2022 was my retirement year because child that year and eight months was long for me and the money i saved i used it as my retirement money honestly 2022 i was in retirement and my only goal for 2022 was go to cape town for my birthday and i succeeded and to spend my money and i spoke myself sham last year put myself shoes clothes i ate <laughs> this last update is basically to say i'm broke now um i all my savings finished i finished all my dollars um if it be bank charges ghetto <laughs> That's the one thing I miss about America. I did not have bank charges. So here, because I use FNB, I have bank charges. So they chow my money before I can chow it. But anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> like, I enjoyed my retirement money, guys. Like, I was so, I was so furious. Was that a, that's not a word. I'm making words up. But guys, like, I spent my money. Like, I was even paying I was like those one month where I bought my family goes with my mom groceries. I paid for electricity. I bought my niece and nephew toys. I bought my sister and those sneakers. I bought my sister whatever she wanted. I bought my sister like I was able to buy people stuff and spoil them and stuff. Like I spoiled my family. I went out for like coffees. I bought lots and lots of iced coffees. What else did I do? I went out. I went to santa with my friends in january like i was i was enjoying just not having to ask people for money but then things started getting shaky in like august is it august august september august make it august 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 september october yeah those three months man i went into a depression um my money wasn't finished but it wasn't a lot left um, and then I thought I would have accomplished a lot more um, But also like I was just it just became so lazy because I used to work Every day like 10 hours every day in America to coming home and like Because I remember the first month I got home sham. I was cooking. I was cleaning. I was like mommy. Do you want tea? <laughs> Daddy do you want tea? Is there anything else I can get for you? Like I was enthusiastic i was like oh do you want me to do your laundry love that because that's what i was doing you know like i was like oh, started missing going out for daily walks and then i was like mm, let me walk around my neighborhood and i was like mm, i'm gonna run into people and then like i'm gonna be harassed by men so it was just like mm, i can't do that like and there's no trees and shades and i can't wear my earphone because somebody might steal it like it was just like a lot of readjusting like learning to lock the doors wherever i go like i never used to lock my car doors <laughs> I, I shouldn't be saying things like that out loud but i stopped locking my doors i never locked the house now i have to lock the house and then like the worst thing happened also um i think the end of september um 
robbers. Mm, the monkey was the Toti. Toti came into our house and robbed us at gunpoint and took our laptops, my other phone. I begged for this iPhone, guys, because it's the only thing I have of America. Yeah, they took my dad's laptops and they took the rest of my savings. Um, but that's a horrific story. But luckily, no one was safe, so I don't care. Like, they can have those things, child, as long as we were safe. Um, so yeah. So then, like, I've just I was just in a bad state um, for like three months. Then I started recovering around November. But it was already late i am like a person who needs to achieve early in the year so that i can enjoy at the end of the year so it was like ah oh, it's november i'll try again next year <laughs> i was like mm, try again next year so i i still don't regret coming home i miss america a lot um i miss my friends mostly i do not miss the job i miss my kids <laughs> i have kids i took care of 10 kids okay so those are my kids except the first two I have reservations i don't like the first two guys it needs a story time i feel like i should do a story time because i'm the asshole but they are also the asshole but you know like i'm also in the wrong i know i'm in the wrong um with that first family but they're also wrong like it was just it was just not a perfect match and i i, I don't regret leaving them yeah so i took care of what two three three yeah i took care of 10 kids and that one year and eight months so yes i've been retiring 2022 i was in retirement guys i was enjoying my retirement money i was seeing it as my retirement year so now it's 2023 it's time to get up it's time to get up and get to working moving you know uh, i still don't want to work for people though like working for somebody is the pits and i think that's my problem it's the problem the problem is i don't want to work for anyone the op experience experience taught me that I do not like working for people. I do not like it. I don't. What else? Am I forgetting something? Mm, I don't think so. Um, so my year of retirement is over. Um, I need to get my shit together. Um, I also feel like I need to meet new people. Yeah. Like coming back home, is you kind of outgrow people, but in a bad way. Um, I love all my friends. Um, I love them to bits, but um, I cannot, I cannot be around people like I was in America. Cause in America, I was doing it to survive. I was keeping, I was doing it to keep sane. Here is my safe space. South Africa is my safe space. I know where everything is. I know where to go. Away. So I don't need to be around people. I'd love to meet some new people. I feel like I like America. Told me that I enjoy learning new people because i left south africa thinking i was antisocial which doesn't make sense because i was a very extroverted child <laughs> and then like somewhere in high school between high school i just became an introvert which is very weird so i call myself an extroverted introvert um an introverted extrovert extrovert yeah that um so i i, I like running into friends and people in intervals i don't like seeing people all the time so yeah it's been an adjustment period like 2022 was rough it was my retirement year but it was also like an eye opener like damn i'm not the same like i'm a different person and i i didn't go to people because i didn't want to move back into the person i was before i left to go to america i wanted to keep the lessons that i learned in america so i avoided certain people because i felt like they were reversing the growth they were unwinding the growth that i had achieved when i was abroad and i was like you're not gonna turn me into that person <laughs> you are not going to turn me into that person i miss all my friends um in america even though most of them are not in america anymore i miss i miss the life that i had in america obviously and now in 2023, I'm gonna learn to be present here because I'm not going to America anytime soon. I'll go one day to visit, but I'm not going back anytime soon to go live there. Like if I ever go to America, guys, just know that they paid me a million dollars and I get it every month. I get a million dollars once a month. 
then no that's why i moved back to america i do not have what's the word i'm looking for i do not have the heart <laughs> to struggle in america i like to struggle in places that i'm familiar with all right in places that i have support because here if i struggle and fall i have family you know i have my parents i have my brother and my sister like i have people to cry to in america when i was crying i was crying alone <laughs> and god did i cry a lot so everyone stop asking me why you're back i'm back i'm not going back okay please listen i'm in south africa stop acting shocked okay i'm not planning on going back anytime soon if i do go back i'm visiting because i know people now all right <laughs> I'm not going back. Let me talk about all the things I don't miss about the US. <laughs> because I'm home already, most. So I need to talk about, like, what pushed me, man, to be like, mm -mm, I'm not staying here. Because my host family seemed like they wanted to um, sponsor me to stay. Because they were like, do you see yourself staying here? I was like, no, I'm going home. I'm going home. Because personally, there was not a job in America with the qualifications that I have that I could get that was worth me staying in America. Like I was not willing to be a nanny. I was not willing to get married. I was not willing to look after old people. Like like, like the job that they behind to do in America. No offense to you guys, shout out to you, power to y'all guys. Hustle, do that thing. I personally am not that girl. I cannot. Um, my life here is i'm not a rich girl but my life is soft <laughs> for a dollar no sorry i can't if i'm not willing I, w I didn't stay in america because i'm not willing to do a job in america that i would not be willing to do in south africa and the people that went to school shout out um like my friends two of my friends stayed because they're in college love that for them personally i am not an academic i'm smart i think i'm smart but i'm not an academic i cannot i cannot also like being tied to somebody like finding a sponsor and then now you have to perform and also look after their kids i can't if i'm going to school i need to focus on school i'm i like doing things at this many things at the same time but there needs to be one thing that i'm focused on i can't be i can't have two important things like school is important so i need to focus on school i can't be looking after the kids making lunches and all the other things i couldn't do it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video it's starting to get personal so let's end it before i start rambling and ranting further and then i'll make a separate video about my op experience that one has to be a story time because child i don't know if i'm good at telling stories but i feel like i'm ready now i'm not as traumatized as i used to be i've been home for a year in three months I think I'm ready to talk. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.